Taiwan. There are some beautiful mountain towns here. In fact, Miyazaki based his film Spirited Away on this town here. These cab drivers completely load their dashboard with tchotchkes and bobbleheads. If you like street food that's not particularly spicy, this may be your new favorite place. There's street food, and more street food, and more street food, and awesome fruit. Just look at those guavas! The dogs seem a little different here. This one has 100% more eyebrows than any dog I've ever seen. And, yes, I did try the stinky tofu. But all this isn't the main reason we came here. We came to check out the wild tech culture, and we came to check out Lee and Lee. beautifully air-conditioned, mostly air-conditioned building. We're going to find out how they make the products from the tooling that they use, from the ideas that they've come up with themselves and the machines that they've built themselves, all the way down to the little things. Everybody knows Lee and Lee loves aluminum. This stack is for a small run. When you're doing a small run, you don't really want to make tooling, so they use this 4,000 watt laser. They have to use liquid nitrogen to cool it down so that the, uh, the heat doesn't oxidize the metal. Tooling gets really expensive, so this is also going to be very good for prototyping. As you can see, it quickly cuts out shapes and holes and can give them something they can work with immediately. After it's done comes a bit of manual labor. Someone has to physically pick up each spot and go around all of the different cuts to make sure that they are smooth. They use a special tool to smooth out all of the jagged edges, and then you should have something that looks nice, like this. After that, it gets a bath. This will also make sure that there's no bendel bits uh, remaining on it. It goes through the bath, it's washed, it's cleaned, and then it's dried. And then someone with nice gloves puts it away. Now this machine is a specially designed machine that is extremely precise. A lot of the Lee and Lee side panels have these uh, special pegs that makes the side panel really easy to uh, remove. Now they have to apply these using a bit of solder and they do it very quickly using this machine. Now the key here is that if it's too hot it will melt part of the side panel so it is a very precise amount of heat that is applied. And then once they uh, apply all of the pegs uh, one of the employees will do a quick dusting of them to make sure that they're all clean and ready to snap onto the side panel. Now let's take a look at another stack of aluminum. This one's for a case that's going to be going into mass production, so it's a much higher volume, and we're going to show you how the process differs here. Now first off, they line it up, then some suction cups come down and grab it and move it on to the next station where they line it up again and just get it ready. Now they have some really heavy duty tooling here, and it's going to stamp this piece of aluminum several times. So the first time, it'll just cut a couple of holes. That's all it's going to do this time. Then it's going to move on to the next station. You can see there it cut out sort of a, a bit of a shape. And here, it might be doing a little bit of bending. So it presses down. Oh, now we've got some bending. Moving on down to the next station. You know, they always keep safety in mind with this. Um, if anyone gets anywhere near this, everything shuts down. Uh, so there are lots of different safety precautions. You can tell that there's no one anywhere near this while the machines are running. Because these things are heavy, they're big, and they apply a ridiculous amount of force. Check this one out, it's gonna bend it a lot. And by the way, this heavy clang sound is extremely satisfying to hear while you're there. Now, this gentleman here is going to make sure everything's properly lubricated and just keep the entire line moving. If, uh, you know, there's a problem anywhere, he is able to stop everything to make sure that uh, quality is always at 100%. So this is just another way that they bend and stamp uh, all of this aluminum in higher volume. Let's punch some holes in a sheet of aluminum, or aluminium, depending on where you live. This machine can take 72 tools at a time. It spins them around, and it can punch up to 1,200 holes per minute. Now, those tools can range from Type A, which are ni nice and small, all the way up to these big Type E tools. Now, Lee and Lee has designed most of these tools. So it takes the sheet of aluminum, and it can slide it around and just punch holes like crazy. This is really good for smaller runs and prototyping. Now, with a machine this precise, you can bet it's pretty expensive. do 
a larger run, you're gonna use this machine. This can take the entire sheet of aluminum and punch everything, the vents, the screw holes, the openings, the side panels, everything all at once. Sometimes they may need a second punch if there's some tiny little detail or something like that, or maybe the holes are too close together. But this is how they do higher volume runs. Now after this, they can take this piece, cut out what's needed, reposition it, or even bend it into the final product. Now here we're on the assembly line. Once they get all the pieces uh, made in the factory, they come up here and then they put them together and get them ready for packaging so that they can put them in the box and then send them to you guys. You'll notice that the workforce here is not like just out of college workforce. Uh, you know, you, you look around, you see some of them, but most of the employees here have been with the company for a very long time and are extremely experienced. And it seems like Lee and Lee has been really taken care of them. The facilities are extraordinarily clean, one of the cleanest factories I've seen, and that includes some of the factories that are working with PCBs and sensitive components. It's also nice and cool in here, and this is very nice, really, really nice. And I love the fact that they've developed almost all the tools themselves, at least the toolings, uh, but they've come up with so much right here. Now you know the process behind it, the people behind it, and what goes into the case that you're picking up. We really want to make more videos like this. Factory tours, travel videos, culture videos. So let us know what you think of this Lee and Lee factory tour. If you guys are really curious about any certain company, let us know. We'll contact them and see if we can get in for a closer look.